so good at coming after Latinos. I mean, they, they go to our WhatsApp, they go to our Spanish stations, they throw in the trigger, trigger words like um, a socialism and authoritarianism. Why are the Democrats falling behind? What, what, why, why, are we, why are the Democrats not coming after us? Listen, I think, first of all, they take it for granted, right? right. I think a lot of people thought, you know, they're not going to vote for Donald Trump. They, I mean, that's the alternative. The right, right. are going to vote for the Democrats, and that's not the way to do it. Also, people need to understand, and I don't know how long we have to say this, you can't show up six weeks before an election. And then you have to show up. Yeah. And this is the same for African Americans, for Latinos, for any group. Put in the group. Yeah, yeah. Don't show up at the last right. minute and expect to win. And they have to fight hard against this socialism, communism right. type of label. Republicans are so good at coming after Latinos. I mean, they, they go to our WhatsApp, they go to our Spanish stations, they throw in the trigger, trigger words like um, a socialism and authoritarianism. Okay, he's just repeating himself. I wanted you to hear the beginning of what he said, um, just, just in case I didn't get it. Now, this actor, when he first came, dirt poor to America. All of the programs, the social programs, because he said them in his jokes, he's a comedian. I can't remember his name right now. But um, do they have it on there? No. He's uh, hosting for The Daily Show because, unfortunately, Trevor Noah is not there. And here are some of the comments. Um, not voting for Trump should have been enough. Get it together, Latinos. Of you Latino and you, and you are Republican, there's something fundamentally the matter with your thinking. Um, did Donald Trump fight for the Latinos' vote? I seem to remember him tossing paper towel rolls in Puerto Rico. And then this one down here says, Democrats need to get off the stick. You're going to lose if you take people for granted. It's already an uphill battle. Get out and get to work now. Stop being complacent. That's what that person said. I didn't write anything yet. That's my little thing down there. I'm probably not going to write anything because I'm making this um, video. And I wish I could remember his name, but I can't. But he became rich off of all of the people that he's voting Republican against. And so did Anna uh, Navarro. I believe that's her, her yeah, N N yeah, Navarro. Anna Navarro. These people, these Hispanics, these Latinos have... Why are the Democrats falling behind? What, what, why, why, are we, why are the Democrats so Anna, not coming after us? In case, Listen, I think, first of all, they take it for granted, right? Okay, I right. think a lot of people thought, you know, they're not going to vote for Donald Trump. They, okay. I mean, that's... I don't like to leave people's mouth open. for looking crazy. All right. So Anna Navarro, not to, not married to the little creep that's on Donald Trump's team with the gray hair. She's married to somebody else. She herself is getting paid off of the money that we make when we buy the products that support her show to give her the multi-million dollar contract that she has. She's from The View, if anybody does not recognize her face. Um, so this always happens. They get their money, then all of a sudden, they're no longer Democrats, they're Republicans. And she'll swear to God she was a Republican forever. But when her parents came to this country, because she's an immigrant, she was not. They were not. You know why? Because they needed the social service programs. Socialism should not be attached to social programs. In their country, in those Latino countries, they had socialism where one person controlled their government stupidly and he robbed them. Whoever the president was, whether it was Castro or the other one, that's what socialism means to Hispanics. And like this person over here said, not voting for Trump should have been enough. Get it together, Latinos. If you are Latino in America and you're still voting for a fucking Republican after they have shot and murdered and cut your babies down with AR-15s and bombs and whatever else the fuck they're using, that you keep killing your own kids. You are murdering your kids. You are murdering your husbands and your daughters and your wives because you keep voting for Republicans. It's okay to have a gun 
in your house. But we know now what these people are doing. We know that they're getting the guns for the specific reason of going to a school or going to a bank and shooting you motherfuckers. So why are you still voting for them? So, like this person said, not voting for Trump should have been enough. Get it together, Latinos. And this person down here that says we need to do more, we we need to, that the Democrats need to do more? What more do, do you want the Democrats to do except for highlight what's going on and repeating it after to time after time after time? You people act like you don't get it, but you do get it. You know you should not be voting for any conservative Democrats, any moderate Democrats. That is the same thing as a Republican. They vote when they pass bills to spend our money, millions of dollars in these foreign countries. They're voting on that together. I'm not excusing the Democrats that's doing that. And you always hear the progressive Democrats say, no, there's programs here we could be using that money for. And you go right out there and you pick the motherfucker that's taking our money and sending it to another country. Those are our taxes. All right, I'm going to post this, but these two have a lot of nerves. Social services programs in America are necessary until people can bring themselves out of poverty. And all of this bullshit that Republicans say about pull yourself up by your straps of your boots, who the fuck has boots? And if you got boots, who can afford to put strings in them? See, that's where the majority of 60% and the 23% that are homeless, that's where we need to get together and vote against bitches like this. This sitting on her ass millions of dollars off of the taxpayers' money and off of the purchase power of the American public. We have made her rich. And she's voting for Republicans so she don't have to pay taxes. Our same taxes that we pay for. So good for you. If you don't go out and vote, good for you. You deserve everything that you get. Have a nice day.